Who wants to have a little fun? <laughs> These days are really starting to drag out, so we need to we need to add we need to add something in. We're gonna have a little fun. <clears throat> Let's do a little little talking here, and I'm gonna show you what we're talking about. Big shout out to Mike Zawada, Zawada Farms YouTube channel named Zawada Farms. Mike, I appreciate you sending that to me today because we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing today. Mike, uh, I got something from Mike. It was uh, it was a YouTube ordeal um, that somebody put on uh, 50 bales in 50 minutes. In fact, I only watched a little bit of it. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do here, can we make five bales in five minutes? A bale a minute. <clears throat> if I push that to the limit respectfully, and with this overgrown monster, I think we can do it. We're gonna give it a whirl. The one thing that might stymie us a little bit is it gets thin up around that corner, but uh, I think we can do it. Okay, so, uh, you know, watch the pat on the backs here and stuff. Folks, th th this is first crop. I'm at the end of my first crop. I got this property, the property across the road, up on the ridge, and then another small field, excuse me, two, all in this general area, and my first crop is done, uh, which is a little... I, I guess that's a great problem to have. We're a little late in the year. I, I don't know what to tell you. So, quite naturally, between fertilizer program and old mother nature, in the time of the year, this is what we're dealing with. It's, it's just an absolute monster. So, I discounted baling yesterday, and rightfully so, but what I did do is I came out here and to two other properties, and I double windrowed raked the hay to flip it over. I did it at like 3.30 for it to breathe and then uh, got pretty lucky because that sun came out for a few hours. That's the only reason why we're bailing right now. It's just shy of 2 p.m. Wednesday, 21st of July. So the reason for this weirdness, the other day I had, we'll just call it a uh, cleanup field day of cutting. It all started with that alfalfa crop across the highway, which a lot of it's going into small squares and going to, uh, let's call it some higher end hay barns. Well, unless you're perfect, the field lines, the field edges aren't pure. Mine aren't. That's where you're going to see some grass. And of course it comes from tree, the, the, the tree line, the shade and whatnot. So I ended up choosing to do the six rounds and I split that field across the highway to pick up so that just the inside is for all that high quality stuff. I need to take you out there. Um, and then uh, I had a little bug up my you-know-what, and I ended up coming out here, tackled the six rows around this large beast and across the road. So that's, that's what's on my plate today. But anyway, I came out last evening, late afternoon, double windrowed this to flip it, let it breathe, and we had three hours of pure magical sun. Um, it probably could have been bailed last night, but it, you know, the, the toughness would have set in by the time I would have got going, so no, no, that's what today is for. Um, and I tell you, it worked out real good. Now, Dad, Dad loves rotary raking. Um, he likes hooking it up to his Massey and just going. These rows, because of this heavy big product, were pretty pathetic out of my double wind row rake. 
they had to be cleaned up. And I fear that the same thing's gonna have to happen to the rest of it when I get it. So dad came out here with the rotary rake at uh, about a quarter to 11 a.m. because it was fitting to do so and clean them up real nice, neat and proper. So we got a monster here, let's stop talking. Uh, how are we gonna time this? Uh, we're going after five bales in five minutes right now. My device shows that this video is five minutes and 29 seconds. So let's try and hit this on the six minute mark. 540. Running 1,000 RPM, naturally, four by six bales, uh, two 0.5 rounds of net wrap per bale. We're running in B2, 557, 558, 559. Here we go. I could take this further. I'm not going to. I'm running B2, running 3.8 miles an hour, and that's as far as I'm pushing this. All up and up a gear here when we get across the corner. Um, and I'm running red line pressure too, folks. But with this, this stuff here, I'm willing to have a little fun, but I'm not willing to break my stuff to do it. Even though I guarantee you that Baylor can handle it. We're at 55 inches and it's 650, oh, no, we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna make that. I'm gonna keep taking you with me here. We're gonna see where we end up. 67. Beeper goes off at 67.5. Got a good bail here. Stop, wrap. That was a minute and 15. Actually, that's not correct. Got to wait till we shoot it out. I should have test run this before I press play on this damn thing. Beautiful bale. Here we go. I'm going to kick it up a notch here right after this corner. She gets a little light. You may or may not see a little streaking at the corner. A phone call came in. And I made a couple of oblong bales here, and that's kind of what happens uh, when you do that. They go for a roll, they hit a certain crease in the ground, and plop right over. <coughs> All right, we're gonna kick this up to B3. I probably did this in the wrong area of the field. You'll see what the other end looks like. We're coming up on it. All right, I'm gonna have to straighten back out. Yeah, I was deadly rolling on five bales in five minutes. Still kind of impressive, but uh, it could be done, but gosh, dude, it ain't gonna get done like that. Come on, Ben, here we go. Ooh, that baler's working there. We're going to get into the heavy, heavy, thick stuff on the next straightaway. You'll see it here in just a bit. I'm still B3 in it. Then I split the field. Just because. 
the rest is going to have to wait for our next straight stretch of weather. And if you could, if you can see it, that's across the road. It's about in the same condition this stuff is. That's what I need to hit after this. I got to kick this down a notch. anyway so I really don't care. Bad. Yeah, this wow. This would be a quickie. Two, sixty-three, sixty-five. Anyway, yeah, pretty amazing stuff here. Of course, this complete fully and solely cow chow here. Cows are gonna love the stuff, but yes, it's it's very. Uh, well, I just made a seventy-four inch bale. I don't need to be doing that crap, even though it can handle it. I don't like that. Yeah, even though well past maturity, if you make that make sense, uh, this this is going to be some good, good stuff here. Cows are going to enjoy the hell out of this. not mistaken was that five bales uh, yeah all right I was worth a shot it was fun I'll admit maybe a little stupid <laughs> this is the stuff to do it in though if you want to go running I could probably run I, I know I could run b3 but uh, I'm not willing to do it not willing to do it. Yeah, we got a few days here of straight uh, clouds and a little bit of uh, mixed rain in here. So this has been a long haul here, a great stretch. But uh, after today, bailing is done for a bit. Ooh. Ooh, that set me back there a little bit. I'm kicking this down actually.
just dawned on me. I didn't open up the back window for some years. Um, I'll do that here, and then we got to shut this down. I got to stay on track here today. Um, whatever happens, I'll uh, I'll take you with me on the alfalfa field, and I'll, I'll show you what I was talking about. So. All right, folks, that's it. Just having a little fun. Uh, turned out to be a little bit funny. Five bales in five minutes, actually, uh, that's not made for me. It's all right. I'm gonna shut this down, get all this bailed up. I gotta do chores, of course, at about four o'clock I'm gonna do them. And then uh, head across the highway to the alfalfa field, which of course we're ba I'm going to bale up these six rounds around the field, and then I split the field in two. Oh, oh, boy, you're eating! I'll take you with me and uh, show you my very simple science of what I did, why I did it, and it's a great opportunity to look at that alfalfa, which is just outstanding. It's of course the second cutting, second crop. And again, that's that alfalfa stand's fifth year. And uh, we'll talk more about it when I get out there. We're going to talk to you sooner and later.